Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. In this video, I'm going to talk about the problem with most home gyms. Before I get into that topic, if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. The best topic ideas I turn into videos just like this. All right, so something I was thinking about this morning and something I think about a lot when having a home gym is uh, how would I change things? Um, what what do I always feel is missing? You know, with the possibility of gyms opening back up, we're seeing some the possibility of some crazy rules like distancing rules, and I even saw some uh, some people thinking about some gyms uh, thinking about removing small equipment like balls and you know and uh, can't use a water fountain. Um, I think one European country even said. They can't use the showers, no water fountain, etc. So some people looking at the possibility of all these uh, post-COVID-19 crazy rules are like, screw it. I just want to stay in and uh, keep working out my home gym. What can I add to my home gym? Well, I will say in the long run, a home gym is a nice thing to have if if you can furnish it properly, if you can get it up to speed. One of the major problems, and this is why I want to make this video, is that sometimes home gyms kind of get halfway there. Um, you get the squat rack, you get the ability to do, um, you know, squat bench deadlift, and then you might, then you got to build out and do dumbbells, and that can be a pain in the ass. You got spin lock dumbbells and power block dumbbells and that kind of thing. And then you might add a few pieces of equipment like an ab wheel or bands or TRX or whatever. And then you're kind of halfway there, right? You have a couple of weight trees. You have a bunch of standard plates, Olympic plates, uh, maybe even a couple bars like me. You've added a hex bar and you have, you've invested all this money in this equipment. But still, when you go work out, kind of, you're kind of like, man, I wish I could do this. I wish I could do that. All I have is, uh, you know, barbells and dumbbells. And many, many people are okay with that. But the average person, they only feel like they're kind of halfway there. So the major problem I feel with building a home gym is that a lot of people need more options, but they don't plan for more options. They kind of dig in. Say, I'm going to be okay with just this minimal type of setup. I'll make do. And then you get down there, you get in your home gym, and you're like, man, I kind of miss this, that, and the other thing. For example, what do I miss? Uh, well, I had uh, the dungeon home gym for a long time. It was very minimal, right? Barbells, dumbbells, a lot of plates, a deadlift bar, etc., cetera, and a, and a, a buffalo bar, bowed uh, bar that I use for squatting. And now <clears throat> putting back a gym again in the, in my office, um, like this time around, I'm like, there's a few things I really want, like a back extension uh, station so I can do uh, glued ham raises, get a glued ham raises. I want uh, maybe a vertical leg press, something, you know, under $1,000 so I can do something for legs other than squats because at home, you got like squats and you got front squats, which are great exercises. And then you, and then after that, you got like lunges and, you know, you got to get real creative. So I miss things like, uh, honestly, I miss having a leg curl station, a leg extension station and leg press just for more options. Um, what else do I miss? I really miss having a cable station. Uh, you know, a really nice cable station where I can do cable tricep extensions, cable curls, seated cable rows, which are one of my favorite exercises, uh, you know, and, and, and other things like that. So I really think if you're looking at not going back to the gym, um, you have to be honest with yourself right now and say, how am I doing? Am I just getting by? Am I missing certain things? Or, you know, is it kind of a grind, kind of a, you know, not, I, I don't always feel motivated to, to work out at my home gym because a few things are lacking. So you really, I would honestly, um, you know, sit down, uh, make a wish list of things that you wished you had in your home gym, uh, look at the cost and then weigh that versus uh, getting a gym membership and going back and, you know, fighting chess Monday, bench press Monday and, and all the new rules and decide, Hey, okay, having a home gym, it might cost me if I get everything I want, 5,000 bucks or whatever. Um, but compared in the long run to having a gym membership, it might be a little bit more expensive than having a gym membership, but is it going to be worth it? Uh, again, you know, the biggest lack of motivation I see is when people don't have enough equipment in their home gym 
and it just gets kind of a little bit monotonous, a little bit boring. Sometimes having options is the best thing you can have in a home gym. Let me know what you think. Drop a comment down below. Do you do just fine with minimal stuff or do you feel your motivation is lacking a bit? So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.